By the way, today happens to be National Philanthropy Day, the perfect reason to kick off our Gift of Gratitude series. And there's no better way to show uh, you are thankful for what you have than by serving those who are less fortunate. And recently I took a trip to an incredible organization here in New York City. It's called Bottomless Closet, mm. and I got to see firsthand what they're doing to uplift women and set them up for success and financial independence. When you look good, you feel good. But at Bottomless Closet in New York City, that's just the beginning. That's pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Behind every smart blazer and perfectly matched blouse is a woman ready to strut towards success. Our clients have, you know, have challenges. When they come in here, they put those challenges somewhere else on a shelf and they just look forward. Bottomless Closet serves disadvantaged women re-entering the workforce by providing them with resources to ace interviews, regain employment, and successfully transition into new jobs. From career workshops to resume help and wardrobe boosts, the organization has helped over 46,000 women get on the road toward financial independence. There must be something really meaningful about meeting somebody, seeing them get dressed for an interview, walking them through the resume process and the interview process, yep. and then hearing that they got that job. And the first thing they do is ring the bell. And when they ring that bell, the entire place just erupts in applause. You know that they've got that job. The staff, the other clients, the volunteers, we are all pulling in the same direction. It's so important for women to help women. We understand the, the need to build confidence. Women were disproportionately hit by pandemic-related job losses in 2020, accounting for more than half of the 10 million jobs that were lost. This made Bottomless Closet's mission more important than ever. One of their recent clients is 57-year-old Mildred Martinez. After working for 16 years in broadcast media sales, Mildred was laid off in August of last year. When you found out that they were laying you off, how did it, how did it feel? I was numb and I realized for the first time in my life, I don't have a job. And so there was panic and fear and a lot of crying, anger, um, and what am I gonna do now? The job search landscape has changed since Mildred was last looking for full-time work. So with a whole new set of challenges in front of her, Mildred turned to Bottomless Closet. I knew about Bottomless Closet from a few years ago. Uh, I actually used to bring the, my work outfits that I didn't use. I never envisioned myself as being a client. And I think it wasn't until I realized that I was one of those women that was considered underemployed. Mm. I had to always work a second job to supplement my income. Attending Bottomless Closet's virtual workshops has given Mildred a new sense of direction as she seeks to switch industries and re-enter the workforce. So today, Mira and I are helping Mildred with her elevator pitch. Break it down into three pieces, the present, past, future, all right? Where am I now? Right now I want a job in this. Past, what have I done? What are the skills that I have? Just think about that holistically in two sentences. And then third, the future, what are you going to do for that organization? Do you want to try? Well, right now I'm currently unemployed and I'm actually, oh, I shouldn't say that. What, what should she say? <laughs> right now I'm looking for a job in. Okay. That's such a good little point that I would never think of. How does this sound? I'm looking to re-enter into the field of facilities management. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> the next piece is the past. What are the skills that you've acquired? The most important thing that I bring is my understanding of relationships matter. Oh, I think that's great. That's so great. positive. And then the future. future. What are you going to do for them? I'm going to bring to your team someone who is easy to work with, someone who's going to pitch in when things get tight. Most importantly, you know, is to leave someone with the feeling that they're being heard and taken care of. Mm, that's great. Excellent. Now that Mildred has her elevator pitched down, next came the fun part, putting together an outfit to get her prepared for her next opportunity. And or maybe looks, just the jacket. Yeah, that, that looks nice. So let's try, try it, it on. Okay. You look great. Oh, wow. Do you, you feel your... good? I do. Do you feel more hopeful? I do. I'm a lot more confident. 
and I feel like, you know what? My door hasn't opened yet, but it will. Oh, I love Mildred, and we spoke to her last night. She's been on a couple interviews, multiple interviews. She's hopeful for some opportunities, but she is brilliant and positive. Can I tell you something? Someone's going to hire yes, Mildred. Yes, right she, now. Right now. That was a great, great piece. Tomorrow, we continue our Gift of Gratitude series with a story about a life-saving friendship. Oh, I can't wait to see this.